Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to create a magic circle. I already have a previous tutorial on this, but I thought it was about time to update it. I've been receiving a lot of questions and a lot of frustrations about not being able to create a magic circle. So I'm going to keep this intro short and we will get into the magic circle tutorial in just a second. But first I want to tell you one simple thing. It is okay not to know how to create a magic circle. The magic circle is a really neat technique to learn. Whenever you're working in the round, it is the best way, especially if you are making a lot of amigurumi or stuffed animals, but it is not absolutely necessary in order to crochet in the round. So that's the first thing that I want to make clear. So not only are we gonna cover how to create a magic circle in this tutorial, but I'm also gonna show you two other alternatives to crocheting in the round. So make sure that you watch to the end of this video so you can see those tricks. Now first, what we're going to do is use your thumb and index finger to hold down this loose strand here. Now you can either wrap the yarn around three fingers or you can do two fingers. I personally think it's easier with two fingers, so that's how I'm gonna show you. So holding this loose strand down, we're going to take our working yarn and wrap around the top of our fingers, come back down, and then wrap back around the top of your fingers, creating an X. Then we're going to use these fingers to hold it down. Now grab your hook, and we're going to go under this first loop here. So under that first loop, and we're going to grab that back loop with your hook and pull down and then pull towards you and back up and you have your loop. But now we have to secure that loop. So without letting go, insert your hook back under this loop here. So this back loop here that is being held down, insert your hook under this loop, catch that and then pull through the loop on your hook to secure. Now you can let your loop go. And here you have your magic loop. Now from this point forward, it depends on the project you're working on what you should do next. So if you're just doing single crochets into the circle, then this chain that we use to secure the loop counts as your single crochet turning chain. So you wouldn't have to chain anymore. If you're doing a half double crochet, it would be two chains, and a double crochet would be three, unless it's stated otherwise within the pattern. I'm going to show you how to single crochet into this magic circle. So use your thumb and your three fingers in the back just to hold this loop steady. And you can also pull on this strand a little bit to close your circle, but you don't wanna close it too much so that you can't work into it. So now to single crochet, you're going to insert your hook inside that loop we just created. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. So I'm going to put six single crochet into this magic circle. And you can see I'm going under both of these loops here. All right, so now we have our six single crochet. And if you need to count, you can count from that last single crochet all the way to your first. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you can pull up your loop a little bit just so you don't lose your place and set your hook down. And we're going to pull this loose strand here, not the working yarn, to close our magic loop. And you'll want to hold on to this last stitch here so you don't lose it as you pull. And you want to pull nice and tight so that your circle closes. Now insert your hook back into that last stitch. Depending on the project that you're working on, you will work in continuous rounds or joined rounds. But for me, I'm just going to slip stitch into this first single crochet, and that will complete the first round. Now I just worked a second round of single crochet so I could show you something. 
Sometimes whenever you're working in the round and you start with a magic circle, the hole in the middle could get bigger or start loosening up, but it's a really simple way to fix it. All you do is pull that strand tight again and then it closes right back up. And if it continues opening up, you just pull the yarn. And once you're finished with your project, you can just thread this yarn and weave in your ends. And when you weave it in tightly, the hole will stay closed. So now you know how to create a magic circle. But if you can't get it now, it's okay. Set it aside for a couple weeks or maybe even just a couple days and then pick it back up and try again. The first time I tried to create a magic circle, I cried. I threw it aside, said I was never gonna be able to do it, kind of like a little temper tantrum, and I stopped trying to learn it for a couple weeks. Then I decided to pick it back up, said, I can do this, and I got it almost immediately. So if I can do it, you can too. Just be patient with yourself and keep practicing. So if you can't get the magic circle, but you still want to crochet in the round, I'm going to show you two alternatives. That way you can still crochet in the round as normal. And then when you're ready to try the magic circle again, you can. I call the first method the chain two method, but it really depends on what project you're working on. So let's get into it. So first create your slip knot, insert your hook and chain two. Now single crochet into the second chain from your hook, so this first chain here, six times. So insert your hook into that first chain, single crochet. Now back into that same space, we'll single crochet five more times. and you already have your circle. So go ahead and slip stitch to that first single crochet of the round and there you have it. Now I'm going to do one more round just to really show you how this looks. Now that I've completed my second row here, you can see that again I have another bigger circle right here in the middle. Now the cool thing about this little trick is that even when you pull on that strand of yarn from the back, it still closes up your hole a little bit. So when weaving in your ends, you should be able to close out that hole completely. So if the magic circle is something that you just can't get the hang of, I highly recommend using this alternative. So in order to substitute this alternative for the magic circle, for a single crochet, you will chain two and place however many stitches you need into that first chain. For the half double crochet, you'll chain three and place however many stitches you need into that first chain. And again, for the double crochet, you will chain four and place however many stitches you need into that first chain. And you'll probably have to tweak it based on the pattern that you're working on. But once you get there, I think you'll get the hang of it. Now this next method I like to call the magic ring. But really, the magic loop, the magic circle, the magic ring, they're all basically the same thing. But I like to call this one the magic ring because we're creating a ring out of some chains. So let's get into that one. So first we're going to create a slip knot and we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. Then slip stitch to your very first chain. Yarn over, pull that strand through that chain and through the loop on your hook. And that's gonna be your magic ring. So chain one and I'm going to pull up my loop so I can show you this here. Now you're going to work your stitches into this center ring here. So when you pull your chain apart, you can see that middle area here. I know it's hard to see, but once you start working into it, you'll get the hang of it. So you'll pull it apart and insert your hook into that space there and single crochet. And now, even after that first single crochet, you can already see a little bit better into that ring. So again, insert your hook, and we're gonna make six single crochet into this magic ring. Here we go. And we have a gaping hole, but just wait. Slip stitch to that first single crochet, chain one, 
and we're going to pull that strand. So this is our beginning tail from when we created our slip knot. And we're going to pull that tight. And this closes up that hole in the middle. So there's still a little bit of a hole. The only way you're gonna get rid of the hole is if you master the magic circle, which is the first technique that I showed you. But it still doesn't look too bad. Now I'm going to create a couple more rows just so I can show you the difference between all three techniques. Okay, so here we have all three of the techniques that I showed you today. This first one here is the magic circle. This one is the chain two method, and this last one is the magic ring method. We used all of the same stitches, the same increases, but we just changed the way that we started working in the round. So you can clearly see that the magic circle is the best way if you want that center hole to be completely closed. For the other two, there are still bigger holes inside the middle. And the reason why this is really a negative is because if you're making amigurumi, the stuffing will be showing out of the bottom and could even come out. But if you weave even these ends in the back or pull them tight to close, they do tighten up a little bit more. And if you weave in your ends well enough, then you shouldn't have that much of a hole. All right, so now that we've learned the magic circle and the two alternatives to the magic circle, tell me in the comments which one's your go-to. Can you get the magic circle? Did you cry the first time? If you did, it's okay. Welcome to the club. Now, if you've never crocheted in the round before and you're looking for the next steps, I have two tutorials on how to crochet in joined rounds and how to crochet in continuous rounds. And they're both a part of my free Learn to Crochet Masterclass. So I will link both of those videos in the description below. And that will teach you how to move forward with crocheting in the round. And that's it for today's tutorial. Just remember that if you are struggling or feeling frustrated, set it aside and pick it up again in a couple days or a couple weeks. Also, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to hear more beginner tips, tutorials, and free crochet patterns. If you're interested in receiving beginner tips, free pattern roundups, and more, I would love for you to sign up for my weekly email list and also to join my free Facebook group. I'll leave links for both of those in the description box as well. I'll see you in the next one.